Hi, Pauline. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Pauline Farrell from Box Hill Institute, and my official title is Executive Manager of Blended E-Learning Solutions. And what is this GPS program? <laughs> um, GPS Learning Pathways is effectively a student induction orientation program. Um, GPS can stand for a couple of things. One is for global positioning, so where are you in your career, where are you in your life. You can also, one of our clever teachers suggested it could be goals plus planning equals success. So the program um, is something that so far 5,600 students have gone through and they do it hopefully within their first week to two weeks of commencing at Box Hill, if possible within the first two days. And they come into a classroom for four hours and that's integrated with the ACER testing as well for our literacy and numeracy benchmarking. And they go through a series of tasks, um, but effectively it's structured around a personal plan, an education plan and a career plan. And how do the e-portfolios being used, are they being used in that program? Well, Julianne was very clever and actually came up with the idea of integrating some of the key assessment tasks into Mahara e-portfolios. So we all feverishly worked away to ascertain which was the most appropriate and it was very quickly included within the GPS Learning Pathways program. It was part of our strategic vision of introducing both, but we wanted to make sure that we had the opportunity um, to introduce the students to both of those systems on the first day. Now, the primary outcome of the GPS GPS Learning Pathways program is not introduction to systems, that's a secondary outcome. What we very much look for is context. Now, why would they come in and sit there and learn to use Moodle? So we made it all about them and um, as I've discussed with you in the past, um, the whole of the GPS program has designed against pressure points within the student satisfaction surveys. So what we did was we took an analysis of the things that caused dissatisfaction or stress, pressure points, things that could be potential exit points for leaving Box Hill, and some of them were really interesting. And some of those were things like um, uh, computer rooms not working, not being able to get onto the system, not being able to access support when they needed it, things that usually I would have not associated as being such a high priority. So what we did is we went through the survey and we picked out all of those key pressure points that could be merged into an induction program that was consistent across the whole institute because one of the pressure points was that students felt that they weren't always inducted appropriately into the institute. They may have been only inducted into a small component of the larger entity that they were actually enrolling in.